Hello friends, it is Sunday morning and welcome to the Garden Canvas. I just want to give you a quick update on some things that we've been doing. We've been very, very busy uh, putting together a lot of different things. This is a new fence that we've installed. We've removed sod in this area here. And I've got uh, some steed tollies that I've just planted on that side of the fence. We have added a flagstone sidewalk right there. We got that from Plowing Hearth. I have taken the remnants of the flagstone and created these little areas, these beds that are raised slightly and incorporated that into the existing landscape. And here I have ice follies, daffodils that are popping up. Got a lot of catching up to do. It's been a very, very busy spring uh, trying to get the flagstone done. This was a huge job. And uh, laying flagstone is not for the faint of heart. So I will tell you it was it was a job. So I'm I'm doing a lot of catch up, a lot of organization, a lot of weeding. Um, I still have a pile of mulch I've got to deal with. So anyway, we have uh, some other daffodils that are popping up as well. These are some that we picked up from Lidl this past fall, and I can't remember the variety, but there's a lot of spring bulbs that are popping up and still have some of the flags in the ground from where they uh, marked our utilities when we did the fence. Got a lot of things coming up. Got some larkspur coming up over here. There's some alliums popping up as well. This is our Lady Banks rose and we're supposed to get a frost tonight so that's gonna be a bummer if it burns this but it's starting to climb up the, the trellis. And this is the back side of our pergola swing here. I actually had to move this firelight hydrangea. It was about where the fence is located now, so I had to bring that back away from the fence to get it away from that. But yeah, a lot going on. Stuff is emerging. I think I have some volunteers of some of the uh, Gavardia that I planted last year coming up right here. Uh, this is Gara. And, uh, and as you can see, there's a Larkspur. Cone flower is starting to emerge right here in different areas. And uh, there's an allium, a few different types of alliums that are, that are popping up. Yeah, this is the angle from the driveway side, which shows our arched gate and the arched uh, trellis that we put up as well, the arbor, which we got from the plow and hearth. And what I've done here is I've got a flagstone uh, walkway through here. Uh, we have another gate that leads to our sidewalk, to our patio. Um, I've planted some Steeds Hollies right here, three of them, and I'll probably add another one down uh, along the other fence panel. But one of the things I did was we, we tend to, when we're backing out of our driveway because of this turn, a lot of times we'll, our tires will run off of the edge of the driveway and rather than have a muddy mess there or shrubs or, or plants uh, or flowers even along the, the close edge of the, the driveway, I decided to, to place a decorative river rock bed along that driveway. It kind of looks like a, a dry creek bed, but I will plant all in front and I may even blend a few uh, rock loving plants or dry area plants within the rock itself at some point. Plan to use things like uh, some grasses, ornamental grasses, um, some perennials, and maybe a few annuals and, and things like that as well. Things that can handle some traffic or if it happens to get ran over by a car tire, it'll probably bounce back. So 
So we'll mulch this in after we have plants in place and that's it. I probably will not run irrigation through this whole bed. I may run some drip irrigation to the Steeds Hollies just because they like a little more moisture. But this area gets pretty hot and dry in the summertime. So I'm gonna use uh, things that can handle that. Probably use some butterfly weed in some areas through here too because that is a, a plant that likes pretty rough soil and very lean soil. So this is from coming up the driveway. This is the bit of mulch that I winter sowed. I actually fall planted um, bachelor button and uh, larkspur as well as poppy. And the bachelor button is just doing really, really well. It's first of April here now. Got some larkspur coming up. Some wallflower over there. Just, I sowed the seeds directly on top of the mulch. I did put a layer of compost on top just for some finer uh, material for the seed to make contact, but it's done great. And this is, of course, our double file viburnums. Two of those. And they're in full bloom. And I wish you could smell our two tea olives. They are absolutely permeating the backyard right now with just a really sweet fragrance. These double files don't really have a fragrance, but wow, are they pretty in the spring. Thank you. 